So we, we love coming to these guys for trees um, because they'll give us exactly what we want. We had a project I needed. I needed some 10 by 10 posts and I needed some 6 by 12 posts and these guys were able to give us exactly what we needed and, and we got them the next day. It was, it was instant. I didn't have to wait, I didn't have to put in a special order and uh, some of the other smaller stuff that we needed they had in stock ready to go and we were able to pick through it and get what we needed and, and, and the project ended up really nice. The owners were super happy, and I I think it's because you guys turn out a great product. I, I mean, I want to take credit for it, but but uh, you guys cut some beautiful boards, and it and it shows. We try. We try. <laughs> we try. How was the price point? Was it? Um, I think that was the thing that was most surprising. I had had called around from a lot of the the local suppliers, and I I had about three thousand dollars in the budget. And we were able to get everything we need, and f including a few extras. And I, I don't think we spent over a thousand dollars. You guys, I mean, the price point was awesome. So I don't, I, I couldn't be happier. Uh, it's, it's nice to have access to this, and the quality's good, the price is good, and, and, and more than anything is the, the ability to get the custom stuff uh, for owners that want to do, you know, the oddball whatever it may be, this is the place to come and get exactly what you need for the project. And this is St. Anthony, Idaho. Yes, which, you know, for doing projects in Southern Utah is a little bit of a drive, I understand that, but for us, the price point and, and the quality, and we were going to pay for shipping for those trees no matter what, so coming to get them, we just paid ourselves to, to come and get the, to get the stuff. So it worked out and kept us in budget, and, and more than anything is on schedule. We we would have had to wait to get the other stuff for two weeks for it to be put on a truck and then shipped in and, and my guys would have been standing around waiting for boards. So we were able to come get them. These guys turned them out the next day and we got the project done really quick and I think that's part of what kept the owner super happy. Because we've got to cut this tongue in, cut or the groove and the tongue, and then the the ribs in the bottom, and then the rough saw on the top, it's a lot more expensive. We're going to be two dollars and fifty cents a square foot, and so that's something to consider as you're looking at flooring and lumber. Is just a rough sawn board is very inexpensive. When you start to put it into flooring, it gets a lot more expensive because it's got to run through a lot more machines. It's it's handled a lot more times. How many passes do you think they had to do for this one? I'm not sure how these guys are set up here, but my guess is that it ran through the saw to give it the rough sawn look. It then ran through and got the tongue and groove in one pass, and then they put the ribs for the bottom so in one pass. Passes. Probably three passes. Something wow. that board had to go through a machine three times to turn into this section of flooring. Um, so, it, obviously, it had to be handled more, it cost more. Yeah. That's a good thing. Enjoy a lot more shrinkage. Gotcha. It will actually shrink a quarter inch and then in the winter it will expand back out that quarter inch. Oh. Uh, so, 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 going with the smaller, the smaller flooring is more recommended. A lot safer. What about on the, on the siding, on the half rounds, on the log wood? Huh? Can you get those bigger, smaller? I'm going to show you. Up there. It's on the left. I, it was some really pretty stuff. Is, is, do you kind of, this is the, 
that the thumb there is all smooth. This is all the rough sound. Like on the 8 inch. I know yeah. you're looking at 8 inch. And, and those that you're looking at over there are all the rejects. Oh, Billy. Yes. So you think these people pick up rejects at a better price point? Yeah. Yeah. If you run, then you, you could save some money. It's possible. Possibly, maybe. Because <laughs> you might be throwing away half of it, too. Right. Just because of it, it's got curves in it or knots or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Or a, a flaw that come out of the planer. Oh. Uh, piece and will break neck. off and break it down. Yeah. Right. Yes, sir. Well, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This is Aspen, and Aspen is really soft. Um, I'm, I'm wondering what they're going to end up doing with these. It's, it's interesting. They've cut them square three sides. Wonder if they're going to run boards or, or what they're going to do. I, I don't think I would ever use aspen in anything structural. It's just so soft. Um, but, but certainly, somebody ordered them, and Wilmore Lumber was kind enough to cut them up and give them what they wanted. They Us and the chips and everything from the cutting ends up and they turn it into saw that sawdust and those chips they then sell off to people that are doing molds or paper products or packing gardens, packing gardens whatever <laughs> but if, if, if you went to your local sawmill and said hey I, I like a, a trailer load or a truck load of your byproduct, the sawdust, the chips, whatever. It would make great compost, great gardening, and, and you at a really great price point. That's a good thumbnail. That one right there. For whatever reason, didn't get purchased or got lost at the back of a pile or something. And it's, it's, it's got some twists in it. It's got quite a bit of checking. But if you look at the size of these beams, there is still a lot of really good wood in it. And if you were to show up at the sawmill and, and say, hey, uh, you know, make me a deal on this, you could get a really good price on some of these larger timbers. You can see at the end we've got some checking at the end, but we could easily cut that out and we'd have a nice piece. We could 
can even cut out some of the splits that are at the other end here and end up with a, with a great beam for a barn project or a shed or or whatever it is that we're doing and 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 more than anything get a really good price on it conversation to go and make relationships with people. A lot of times people will do stuff for you just because you ask and they appreciate that you appreciate it. But they've been personable. Yeah, great guys. And yeah. they take great care of us. And, but I don't think people know that there's this type of... I had no idea. That there's wood here. Yeah. This, that's, that's a great price point and it would let you do anything you want to do at your property. Yeah. Well, and a lot of times... I mean, this stuff is professional grade. This is amazing. But a lot of times at old farms or stuff like what you're doing down in Provo, things with, like that, the people just want to clear. Yeah. If you just ask. Please come check it out. Please get rid yeah. of it. Yeah. You got a winner. <laughs>